Okay, we're going to uh, modify the files and add a catapult K2 into uh, Battletech's beta. First place we're going to go is we're going to go to our Steam library, where the uh, game or where the game's uh, installed, uh, and Battletech beta, then Battletech data, streaming assets, and then the data subcategory, and we'll find uh, these. Ignore that. That's where I put backup files from this. Uh, that's where I backed up the stock version manifest. It's so I can uh, have the original just in case I fuck up. Uh, I would recommend making a backup directory for every uh, folder you modify. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create the mech file. So we're going to drop down to the mech subdirectory and find catapult. There we go. As you can see, I've already done a K2. Uh, it works rather well. So I'm going to basically copy and then I'm going to paste. And we're going to rename this file first of all. K2 Alpha. And now I'm going to actually go in and start messing around. You'll see the file actually opens up uh, in Notepad++. I recommend this over uh, Notepad. If you use Notepad, it will open up and it really, uh, everything's just word wrapped. And we're going to start up at the top. So first thing we're going to do is change this to K2A. Now we're going to actually see the inventory. You'll see it has a heat sink right now in the head. Uh, then it, after it goes to the head, it goes left to right, left arm, left torso, center torso, right torso, right arm, left leg, right leg. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull up Smurfy's uh, MWO. Uh, me mech lab that he's got online. I've already loaded a K2. When you load the K2 on here, uh, first of all, it's mwo.smurfy-net.de and then slash mech lab. So if you load a uh, catapult K2 or any other mech, I hate, I hate mouse over controls. You'll notice it loads, there's nothing in it. So I go to Tools and Load Stock Loadout. And we're going to notice the first thing is the head does not have uh, anything in it. And I'm also going to open a new, uh, new thing just to copy and paste stuff into. So since the head does not have a heat sink in it, I'm just going to remove it. But since I'll be putting heat sinks elsewhere, I'm going to paste it into here. Now we're going to go to the left arm. Smurfy says the left arm has a PPC. So, I'm going to look at that, change weapon from LRM-15 to PPC. It's weapon, functional, that's all you have to do for that weapon. Left torso has a medium laser and a machine gun. So there's the medium laser. Uh, we can remove this LRM ammo box because we're not going to have LRM ammo. It does not have jump jets. So we're going to remove those. And 
Now, for the uh, machine gun, instead of trying to figure out everything to write, what I did was I opened up the mechs and I went to a mech that I know has a machine gun. And for that, I'm just going to go to the Locust 1V. And I'm going to take this and just copy. And I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to be pulling the machine gun am ammo out of there. You'll notice that went in there, but it still says left arm. We're going to change that to left torso. Okay, machine gun is actually now in place. Center torso. Center torso gets a heat sink and machine gun ammo. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the two medium lasers from the center torso. And I'm going to drop in a heat sink. And I'm going to change the heat sink uh, heat sink location to the proper one. Now I could have just left that up there where it was in the head, but I like keeping uh, the files structured the same way they have them structured uh, and organized. So head is all grouped together, center torso is all grouped together, etc. And we're going to go back to the Locust uh, 1V and there's the ammunition box and it's already center torso so I don't have to do any changes just gonna copy that straight over okay now we're on to the right torso we don't have ammunition we don't have jump jets What we do have is we have another laser, medium laser and machine gun. So I'm just going to, damn it. Just going to copy these over. and change torso from left to right. Change this uh, LRM-15 just like uh, the last one to a PPC. In the right arm. Now I've been ignoring heat sinks elsewhere because there should be two in the left torso, three in the right. I'll add those in a moment. Uh, we got we keep the two heat sinks in each leg. So now to add those other missing heat sinks. So we're going to go to back up to the left torso, and I'm actually going to follow the same pattern they put them into uh, on uh, the stock loadout. So it's machine gun, medium laser machine gun, then the two seat heat sinks. Machine gun, left torso. Oh. I copied the wrong thing over. Oops. I can fix that in a moment. One. Two. And go back to the locust. So 
So yeah, I copied the wrong over. Just take that. And I apologize, the uh, yard crew comes into our apartments on uh, Thursdays. No, I didn't copy it over wrong. I just forgot to remove something. Okay. Left torso, left torso, left torso, left torso. Center torso center torso and machine gun ammo should be on top of the uh, heat sink there we go now it's matched up Okay, on the right torso we have the three heat sinks, then the medium laser. Make sure these are slotted right. Okay, machine gun, weapon in the arm, legs, the four heat sinks in the two legs. Okay, we're done with that part. Now comes armor. I'm gonna swap over to Smurfies real quick. You'll notice, uh, compared to tabletop, and this is all information everyone should already know anyway, compared to tabletop, MechWarrior Online doubles the armor. Battletech, uh, the new video game that we're in beta for, takes tabletop armor and multiplies by five. For this, I'm going to just take the MechWarrior Online armor and multiply it by 2.5. So for the head and everything already matches up, I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to start with the left, the left arm. Left arm has 36 armor points. And... In Battletech, the game, it will now have 90 armor points. And I'm just going to make a quick note on a notepad off screen of everything I do. Actually, I'll just make it on screen. Side torsos have... There we go. Now everything's going to be shown. Okay. Side torsos have 40 out of 44. Center torso has 48.
forgot about the side torso rears. My bad. Okay, 16. And the legs have 40, so it's going to be another 100. So now that I have those numbers, I kind of wish I could make this stay on top. Oh well. Arms are 90. And you're, you notice locations, here's your armor points. Head, 45, which is the 9 times 5. Or the 18 times 2.5. Internal structure, 15. Arms, 90. Current armor, assigned armor. Okay. Signed rear armor is 40. So that doesn't change. Center torso stays the same. Yeah, 120, 55. Right torso goes up to 100. Right arm goes up to 90. And the legs go to 100. Okay, after we've already after we've made all of our changes in here, I'm going to say that's good to go, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to leave the files open. Okay, now that I've saved the one in mech, I'm going to move on to the chassis uh, designation file. So, open this up, back out of here, go to chassis, find the catapult, C1, control C, control V, and rename to K2A. And open. In here, first thing that gets done is this gets changed to K2A. This line right here, basically it gives you the description of the mech. Uh, I changed mine around, you don't have to, uh, this is beta, if you want to give it some fluff, you can. Battle value top speed I'm not gonna worry about those let's see and now here's where we get to the fun part hard points so there's no hard points in the head the arms are getting their hard points changed from missile to energy This uh, right here tells you max armor, etc. for each part. Don't need to worry about changing that. Left torso, we have the energy for the medium laser, and we need a uh, machine gun hard point. So again, I'm just going to cheat and go to the Locust 1V. That's the 1M. Locust 1V, left arm, let's see, there we go, I'm going to take that, 
it and just copy that weapon mount. And we're going to just paste it. We don't have to, because uh, it's actually organized into the left torso, we don't have to do any changes. That says that a machine gun can go there. I believe Flamer might be uh, anti-personnel as well. I'd have to look it up. Center torso gets... No. Uh, let's check Smurfy. Okay, one energy, one energy, one anti-personnel. Center torso has no hard points. Uh, AMS right now doesn't work, so I'm not going to worry about giving it an AMS hard point. Uh, right torso gets the two, one ballistic, one energy, so I'm just going to go back into there. Let's see, center torso has no hard points. Let's see how the head looks. Okay, so make this match how the head is designed for hard points. Just like that. Right torso gets another anti personnel. And right arm gets missile change to energy. Here we're going to change the movement to uh, take the movement from the catapult C to A or K to A. Okay, and we have to do this again. I don't know why it has it doubled up, but it does. And just some cleanup to make sure everything just looks nice. Right torso looks proper nothing in the center torso okay energy and we're done with here I'm just gonna leave the file open anyways and one more uh, area to edit before we add the thing to uh, the version manifest we're gonna go into movement catapult control C control V rename if I remember correctly there's nothing other than uh, just uh, in here all you have to do is change the C1 to a K2A or whatever your designation is if you just want to leave it K2 uh, that's fine like I said I've already got a K2 in here so I don't plan on actually keeping this mech And once done with that, you're done in here. Save. Now we can close these. Okay. Next thing we have to do is... I can close Notepad++. Next thing we need to do is back out into the data and go to the version manifest. Uh, first thing I do is I just extend all these just so I can see what I'm working with. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to search for chassis def. That will be in this type. Uh, and I'm just going to find next. There we go. And go down to catapult. 
and I'm going to put it between the just under the uh, K2 or just under the C1. I'm going to insert a row and then highlight all the way through zero. And in Excel, Control D will copy the the uh, contents of the cell above you into this row. And then I'm just going to change this and this. Next I'm going to find MechDef. And repeat that process. Insert copy above row and change. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find, this is a long one, Movement Capabilities Def. I'm just going to leave that on screen a few moments. Which isn't too far under Mech Def, but it makes it a lot easier to find if you're looking. Uh, and we're going to, again, find the Catapult. Insert a row. And basically uh, my version of Excel does not like saving, so uh, it can save it. I basically just close it. Do I want to save changes? Yes. Keep this and click yes again. Now that that's closed, we can open up. Uh, we can open up uh, the game and see if it put the mech in properly. Steam, Battletech Beta, close. Give it a few minutes. My computer's actually under spec, so I'm surprised and really happy the game actually works. Oh, that ain't good. I screwed up somewhere. See how it's uh, doing an infinite load? That means I missed a file name or something. And I was actually worried I would do that since uh, I'm actually recording this. So, go back into here. Okay. First, let's check the version manifest. Because I could have easily done it right there. K, K2A, K, K2A. K2A, K2A. K2 
K2A, K2A. So version manifest is okay. No, I'm not saving it. I'm gonna minimize this. And uh, just basically go over what I did wrong. which unfortunately I have no idea where it is. For all I know, I could have done that wrong. So let's open a mech that has a PPC. Yeah, weapon PPC, weapon, functional, left torso. So now the PPCs are in, right? And yeah, adding a mech can involve a good bit of troubleshooting. Okay, that says K2A. That says K2A. wondering if I've left in a uh, comma where I remove stuff. Okay. Or added stuff. Yeah, right there. And right there. Let's see if that fixes it. Just minimize, minimize. And just a missing comma like that is probably all I fucked up on, and uh, it hopefully should load this time. single player Welcome. there we go uh, I'm gonna set this up to war I'm going to load I actually added a test lance uh, when I was turning on all the mechs that uh, are in the game files but not uh, turned on, like the King Crab, the Banshee, the, the Stalker, I wanted to actually have a nice baseline I could test against it. I can make sure all weapon groups are firing, or at least doing damage, and take notes, and I wanted something that I wasn't going to risk losing mechs to, like, oh, 
the head chopping AC-10 on a on an urban mech. So I made a test lance. Four Locust 1Vs. So let's see. Let's go by name. Okay, Catapult K2 there. Catapult K2A, 7.1 million. I didn't mess with it. Uh, you'll notice I actually, actually lowered my Catapult K2s a little bit. So we're going to load up two K2As. Actually, let's load up three K2As. 7.1 million area. And for number four, let's take a look. I have to drop four million, so 3.7 million. play around uh, give the pan paradise and the panther so he has some uh, actually you're getting paradise you're getting witness or actually let's give you mockingbird You're gonna get arc light. Get a move as a medium. And you're getting sumo. And let's play a quick game. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. And again, my computer's not liking this. Uh, I think it's because I've actually got the stream recording. There we go. Give it a few moments to get caught back up. Come on. Lovely landscape. There we go. Simply lovely. Back up on top so I can actually give a show of the mechs. The game actually automatically swaps the arms over, so you don't have to do any work about that. got the medium lasers in the center torso or side torsos. I'm not seeing machine guns visible, but machine guns are small anyways. Not too worried about it. It does have uh, it does have AMS modeled onto both sides. I'd have to look at the uh, stock mech to see if that happens as well. Okay, let's play a game. <coughs> now, these are long range snipers, so I'm actually going to try and treat yeah. them as such. Goal is to try and funnel people up, th Roger. the me enemy mechs up through that area. Yeah. On the move. I am going to have one hang back because the computer might want to try and uh, try and bring one up that way. Waiting for order. 
coordinates received. Okay, enemy turn, and because those locusts are fast, I should be uh, hitting uh, enemy contact right off the bat. We got company. Another blip on my screen. Standing by. Rolling. Okay, move Mockingbird into a somewhat covered position, and have her... Yeah, let's sensor lock. That's why I brought that pilot. I'm not sure if that... Uh, okay, it looks like that's going to come up through this valley right here. They've lost evasive because I have a sensor lock on them. So let's fire just the PPCs this time around. Okay, Paradise. So Sumo, you're gonna move. I can do. So you can see the PPCs are working. Heading out. Turn your PPCs off and just use the medium lasers. Not as good of a to hit, but just showing weapon fire I'll working. Make them PPC and a medium laser, you will not generate any heat. Firing. I uh, believe that I the K2 with the stock uh, build like I just did can do both PPCs fired three turns in a row before you start having to worry about heat. Are you going to go evasive or not? Yeah, i am got my next target. Commander? Gonna continue uh, trying to protect you and sensor locking. Sensor lock to remove the evasive. And I'm going to gang up on him with machine guns, just to test those, to make sure they're working. I was turning on all the other mechs, I was actually turning off all the weapons and uh, basically firing one weapon system at a time. Yeah. So, turn off the PPCs on you. Fire with machine guns. Firing. 
Machine guns work. What's the place? You need to move just to keep uh So I've already tested all the weapon systems. So now it's just free for all blow up the rest of the locusts. Fire both lasers without uh, building any heat as well. Target confirmed. So this does bracket fire quite well. What's up, Commander? And now we're going to see one of the most satisfying things in game. No problem. And now we end this. Yep. Putting my weight into it. Oh, foul. Oh, crap. Man. Okay, it put the machine guns in the AMS slot. That's why they weren't showing up, and that's why that has AMS on it. That's interesting to know. Kind of like them up there, but they don't belong up there. Yeah? What can I do you for? Piece of cake. Whoa. Do some overheating on ya. He's going down. Well, look what I did. So that's pretty much what an alpha strike will do. With uh build heat build up. Oh, well, he didn't uh expose his back at least. Standing by. Coordinates received. What do you need? What's up, Commander? Consider it done. And another Alpha Strike, hopefully to finish this off. 
Target marked. No. Wow. Reporting. Two alpha strikes is just enough not to uh, shut down from heat. But he's he's hot. K2 uh, goes into the game, works more or less right. Uh, the machine guns go on top, apparently, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. <coughs> and yeah, I made sure not to... Uh, choose too difficult just for testing them out. Okay, hope this helps everyone.